The Earth is facing a crisis. From the smoke-filled days of the early industrial revolution to the current melting of ice caps and expansion of deserts, every degree of increase in global temperature triggers the butterfly effect of environmental degradation. Today, the roles of clean and renewable energy sources are more crucial than ever. In this episode, I'm joined by Dennis Chia, Vice President of Longji Green Energy Technology, to share how Chinese photovoltaic companies are blazing a trail towards creating a greener world. Hi, Dennis. Very glad to meet you here. Welcome. So, could you please show me around? Sure. Please. So this exhibition hall, very impressive. So I heard it's also an educational base. Exactly, and I mean, this one now is very popular. Mm. So uh, we welcome a lot of local, I mean, students from junior school, even from universities. I mean, people, students here, you know, can get a lot of knowledge and understanding about how transition happened uh, in our. Uh, Earth. Yeah, so very meaningful for the whole society. Exactly. Yeah. Hemo 5, Hemo 6, so what's the difference between the two? Are they used for different scenarios? Yes, this is kind of two types of so mainstream product in Longji. Hemo 5 is uh, basically the main product for utility, the ground mounted big project. Most of solar panel, solar system you have seen on the mountain and desert mm -hmm. actually Hemophile. The major difference is that mm. it's a beneficial means we also have, we also can make electricity from the backside. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Hemo 6, you see this one? Yeah. You will see that it's more beautiful, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, oh, you know, for your house, basically. Oh, really? It's wow. for residential, mm -hmm. for industrial rooftop, and the mm. appearance looks uh, much better. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you, you have a house, you want to have a solar system on mm -hmm. top of your house, mm -hmm. you want to have a beautiful system, not just uh, something with the power, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we designed this. Well, the major difference is that there is no bus buy oh. between that, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compared okay, with that yeah. one. And this one, you don't have, you know, backside, oh, you know? Right. Because if you install that on the rooftop, the backside is attached to the roof, yeah. cannot make electricity. Oh, it's hard to install. Yeah. So the efficiency also improved? Yes. Well, Dennis, we could see in recent years, the whole um, photovoltaic industry in China experienced the rapid growth. So what do you think are the challenges and opportunities for the whole industry in China? Yeah, I think after the China government uh, set up a very clear target, a 30, mm -hmm. a 30 60 target, so mm -hmm. I think the certainty of energy transition mm -hmm. and also the time schedule for China energy transition is very clear. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are facing a very certain, I mean, future for the industry. However, what is the new challenge for mm -hmm. us? I think uh, in the new energy system, mm -hmm. which the government tried to design, mm -hmm. uh, they, we will put the renewable energy as a, the will play the key role or the critical role in the whole system. It requires the renewable energy, not just a, a subsidized energy, but uh, it's a mainstream, the main, fa main force. Okay, so it requires the renewable energy more reliable, mm -hmm. higher efficiency, and can be a continuous energy. That will be the major challenge, how to make a renewable energy more reliable. Okay, yeah, that's the and also increase the efficiency continuously like what we have done in the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's your expectation for the PV industry in the future about the reliable and something like that? Yeah, I think uh, energy, PV energy will be, uh, have continuous innovation mm -hmm. to increase the efficiency, I mean, like 1% every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, then uh, the energy efficiency increase, the cost will keep I mean, going down. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you know, we will try to develop the application of solar PV, mm -hmm. more adapt 
to the whole system. Uh, we will try to have solar, you know, um, let's say coupling into the system together with the other energy for like a traditional energy, like a wind. Uh, meanwhile, we will try to uh, have more storage, you know, into system together with solar energy. Well, so under the dual carbon goals, what actions has Longi taken to achieve it? And um, what are the results so far? Mm. I think, uh, have you seen that, you know, solar PV in China or the global solar PV has achieved, you know, significant growth in the past? I mean, I think uh, the main drive of that, the efficiency and uh, the lower down the LCOE, the liberalized cost of energy, which makes solar PV very competitive compared with any other energy. Mm -hmm. So we are so proud of that Longji has made us a lot of contribution on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at this, I, mean, I think uh, Longji, the, the founders of Longji always have first principle thinking mm -hmm. of that. What is the first pr principle in energy industry? It's the uh, LCOE. Mm -hmm. So lower LCOE. I mean, and how to drive that? Mm -hmm. I think two aspects. One is higher efficiency. The other one is lower cost. Or you can say that produce higher efficiency product by low cost. Mm -hmm. So that's something Longji always try to do. So in past 10 years, Longji drive the whole industry. I mean, did uh, around 90% of cost down of the LCOE. Mm -hmm. Uh, Longji made a lot of new innovation, in, including introduce the whole industry transition from poly to mono, mm -hmm. and also I just mentioned that the beneficial technology being introduced to the industry. Mm -hmm. Today, we also continue to uh, invest in our R&D to increase the efficiency, which has made a new record of the, I mean, uh, world record of the efficiency you know, based on the all silicon based product, wow. yeah. So all your results are shared to the whole industry? Yeah, I think uh, that's another key thing. I mean, mm -hmm. Longji always share our innovation mm -hmm. uh, to the industry without any cost charged to any other wow. companies, mm -hmm. you know. That's because we think energy transition mm -hmm. is not a, a, a target for a company, it's for the human being. We can try to build up the whole ecosystem, the whole industry work on that. I mean, have a lot of synergy. Then we can try to accelerate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Okay, let's uh, continue our dialogue conversation, Sita. Yeah. So, Dennis, you just mentioned some achievements Longji has been made. I'm pretty sure science and technology played a vital role in your development strategy. So, tell me about your technology innovation. And could you also give me some specific examples? Longji is not only just a market leader, we're also the technology leader in the industry. That's why Longji, every year we have, you know, strategic investment in R&D to achieve, you know, better product, better technology for the uh, lower LCOE. For example, we drive the whole industry, you know, transit from Poly technology to monocrystalline wafer technology. We also introduced the beneficial technology to the industry. In the past, the uh, you know, solar module only can you know, produce the electricity from the front side. We actually you know, have the new technology, have the back side also can produce energy. Uh, nowadays, you know, we, every year we uh, announce a new record of the efficiency of Celsius. Actually, it's uh, always try to increase or uh, increase the limitation of the uh, the potential of how we use solar solar energy. Yeah. So basically, I think uh, that's something Longji try the best to contribute to the industry. Longji has initiated a project to convert its Baoshan plant in Yunnan province to its zero carbon, to its first zero carbon plant. So how is the project progressing? And how do projects like this contribute to achieving the dual carbon goals? Yeah, 
Well, it's a very exciting project. I think it's back to 2018, Longji, the founder of Longji, President Li, actually, you know, has announced uh, a new concept in the solar industry, which is called Solar for Solar. We use solar energy, renewable energy, to produce renewable energy. Then, uh, 2021, we decided to, you know, build up a first net zero concept factory, which is about the net zero, uh, the zero carbon factory. So last year, you know, the, the whole factory, the Boston factory has achieved nine, more than 99% of the energy consumption from renewable energy, the green. It's a very close to our target of 100%. I believe this year, 2023, we will definitely achieve that. Meanwhile, you know, we are also, you know, introduce such kind of experience to some other project like uh, in Shanxi, we have Datong project in, in the Mongolia, in, you know, Kupuchi Desert, we have a project which can, you know, work together with the government to deal with the desert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I heard it, um, some of your projects are about the restore the ecosystem and um, can this project also promote it to other regions in the world to help others like African countries help them to deal with the desertification? Yeah, I think uh, why I said it's a very interesting you know, concept because it demonstrates that you know, uh, like a manufacturing factory, the very heavy energy consumption industry, we can power 100% by green energy. It means it can be introduced to any other area which have, you know, low less support from the grid. You don't have very strong grid from the traditional energy. You can just build up a whole, I mean, factory or the community supported by 100% renewable energy since the beginning. So today we actually uh, already started to build up a very similar project like in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we worked together with the local government to build up a you know, 400 megawatt pure off-grid system you know, without any grid support, you know, which you know, can power the whole city, small city, community. Yeah, such kind of experience and a reference that we are, you know, uh, developing a lot of such kind of experience, I mean, in different areas of the countries, uh, areas of the world. Mm -hmm. Well, as we know, Longji, the Chinese enterprises participating in all three of the climate groups. So in your vision, how can new energy companies drive the global energy transition towards sustainable development? I think as a renewable energy company, you know, Longji always have the responsibility of, you know, promoting or preparing the energy transition, you know. So, uh, firstly, you know, we need to speak very loudly to the world and to show a lot of our reference, you know, to different countries that renewable energy really today can power or the main force can support the energy transition. Meanwhile, as a renewable en leading renewable energy company, we also should meet uh, the ESG standard. And also, as a Chinese company, we can, you know, also demonstrate that you know we can be also perform very great ESG standard company uh, in international standard, let's say, yeah. Mm, these are very important things for Chinese companies to do, yeah? Well, Longji provides green energy application solutions across power stations, industries, households, and hydrogen energy scenarios. So in what ways are these solutions going to make our lives more environmentally friendly? So today, you know, Solar is changing our life, you know. It's happening every day, such kind of change. In Longji, we have a new, you know, concept said solar for all, okay? So you will see solar on top of house, you know, solar on 
on the roof of the industry buildings and the solar in the desert, solar on the mountain, everywhere. Everywhere in the Basically, world. Basically, yeah. yeah. And then now, additionally, solar just, not only just for electricity, we use solar to produce hydrogen to replace the fossil energy, not only just for electricity, but for non-electricity energy system. So we can looking forward the near future, you know, solar will be part of our life. You will never, uh, solar will be part of our life. You will see that everywhere. So based on your observation, what's the emerging trends and the requirements of your global clients regarding their companies? Uh, carbon reduction and their sustainable development. And uh, how can Longji help clients uh, and your stakeholders to reduce their carbon emissions? Mm. I think uh, uh, most of our clients are willing to, you know, decarbonization, you know, their energy consumption. That's it's been, you know, a very strategic uh, moment for most of our clients. However, you know, it's not just their demand is not just a product. They need a solution, you know. So that's Nongji is going to do. You know, we are developing the new strategy which will be uh, from product to solutions. Okay, so, I mean, based on different segmentations, we will not only just provide a standard product, we will try to provide a turnkey solution for a client directly or indirectly together with our local partners. So uh, in general, we just want to make our customers easier and simple in a way they try to do the decarbonization strategy. So as we know, against the backdrop of addressing climate change, Many countries and regions are increasing their support for clean energy. Given this, how, what do you think are the advantages of Chinese photovoltaic companies in expanding their presence overseas? What should be their next steps? I think uh, it's, you know, essentially it's very good because we are expanding our market. And now more and more countries, they have very clear strategy for energy transition. They, they need uh, companies you know, who can provide the best product, mostly actually from China. So that's an opportunity for Chinese company. However, you know, now more and more countries actually, they want not only just the product from China, they want, you know, as I mentioned, uh, the customer service product even, they want company can have the factories, factories close to the market. That's why, you know, decentralized our manufacturing capacity, you know, build up some of the capacity close to the market, into the market is also one of our key strategies in future. So, so for Chinese company, so global business means not only just uh, sales, marketing, but also customer service, even supply chain manufacturing. Okay, that's basically also the key strategy for Longji in future. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much all the questions for today. So are there any other things you want to say to the audience? So I just want to tell all the audience, solar or renewable energy or energy transition is not for future, it's today, it's happening, you know. So we should embrace such kind of transition. It's the best solution for the earth, for our future. So we could see Chinese enterprises are making best of solar energy to contribute to building a green world. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.